I think usually just bring some lots of screw gates. Screw gates. Yeah. I'm taking like base layers. Okay. okay. I figure this is nice just to have them dry, and then I, I get out of the wet clothes, and we can sleep in them. Okay. And we also have food on the ledge. The weather, exactly. Not the important fact, okay? Alright. Uh, I will text you guys what time I'm going to arrive in the uh, and okay. then we meet there. Shomyo dake wa tabu nihon de ichiban laksagar.一番上から下まで So my plan for the trip was pretty simple. I figured we'd come to Japan, we'd try our luck at some, you know, first baby sawanaboris, and then later on we'd try some other things, practice a little bit more, and then ultimately go on to Shomyo. What actually kind of came to pass was a little bit different to that. We arrived in Tokyo, had you know no rest, no time to kind of get into the swing of things, so just in the jet lag. And then we're thrown straight into the first practice waterfall that turned out to be pretty hard. Sawanabori as a subsport of climbing actually seems to be really varied in itself. You have small boulder problems or mini routes to get up to the next plane of the waterfall. And then you have other swanaboris, which are basically like proper routes, sometimes even big walls, up waterfalls. The one thing I remember from that first day is just being absolutely amazed by how heavy, how powerful the water seemed to be. And these were tiny little streams in comparison to the photos that I'd seen in some of the bigger waterfalls. And that's when things start to get really serious. ふどうの滝に行ってきたんだけども、ケケケと水の量とそういったもので、まあ、本当普通のクライミングからは想像できないような怖さが常に潜んでいる。で、その中でいかにこう自分を冷静に保つかみたいなところが、まあ、本当にこうすごい難しくて。でも正直なところ、
I think a lot of this type of climbing isn't about the difficulty. It's not about being as strong as you can. It's more about just being in the elements, being out of your comfort zone, and, and just being a part of nature, but extraordinary nature. It's really powerful, the places where we've been going. And they stand out more than just like a limestone crag. These are moving places, and they're almost breathing places. We've had our practice on various waterfalls. We feel confident enough to approach Shomyo. De l'extérieur, je suis sûr que les gens, il euh, y a n'importe qui se dirait, mais qu'est-ce qu'elle fait, n'importe quoi, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont décidé. Ça me paraît pas si différent du milieu de la montagne. De toute façon, quand on se met dans des endroits pareils, on maîtrise pas tout. Et c'est le jeu en fait, c'est le, le contrat. On a accepté, euh, on se met dans une situation pareille et on est, on est tout petit, donc on essaie de bouger tout doucement, de ne pas trop déranger les choses, mais. Mais on est bien au courant que ce n'est pas vraiment dans nos mains. Il y a une petite partie de risque qu'on contrôle nous, et puis après, il y a une partie de risque qu'on ne contrôle pas. So instead of climbing as one big team, we decided to split into two parties, hoping to miss the storms that were forecast for that evening, and we'd all join together on the ledge. And, you know. and then we started to look at the weather, and things just seemed to be going from bad to, to worse. ギアをもらって、まあ、僕もギアを整理して登り始めるんだけど登り始めてすぐに雨がブワーって降ってきて<音楽>もうほぼ滝だよね滝の状態になってきてもうなんだろうな<音楽>とりあえずそれでも。危なかったら戻ればいいからとりあえず行こうということで行ってみたんだけど Good, actually, the storm stopped, it dried out a little bit. We arrived on the bivvy just after dark. We settled down into our little house for the night, and life was good. I think we need this kind of like you know, spice, you know, during climbing, I think. Yeah, yeah. And he looked down at me, and he's just like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what? What? I didn't know that there was a waterfall there. <laughs> Day two on Shomyo Falls was really about stepping into the unknown. The only thing that was clear is that we needed to be fast. And we decided for numerous reasons that we were going to try and get across the other side to go up this really nice looking, pretty dry rock slab. でそのためにはやっぱりこの落ち口の少し細くなってる部分を誰かが飛び越えなきゃいけないっていう風なプランになったんですよね。でそこでまあジェームズがトールが行けよっていう風に言いましてまあ信頼を置いてくれてるのは嬉しい反面やっぱりすごくリスキーですよね。少しこの足を滑らせて彼相当緊張しててすごいあ。怖いんだなっていうもしあれで落ちてたら滝このあと100まあ2 3 0メー,ター続いてるんだけど多分相当難しかったと思うんだよね
the more I see the Japanese climbers, the more I'm impressed by their, their vision of the sport. They look at things in a completely different way. And it's only through coming here and meeting people and spending time with them and really immersing myself in these kind of cultures, I realize that I'm actually really still closed into my box and that climbing can take place equally on a waterfall than on you know, a, a big wall of perfect, solid, dry rock. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's all climbing. They're all, they're all walls, they're all you know, a vertical playground for us to explore. And the more we can open our eyes to other people's visions of the world and not write them off as being crazy or silly or, or strange, the more we can just decide to try things because they're fun and they're enjoyable, the better it's going to be for everybody.